channel a few intro things um first i'm so sorry i missed the video last week um my schedule has been crazy i had a film shoot i had a theater show i had finals but excuses excuses i know i'll try to be better summer is coming up so look for more consistent videos secondly as you may have noticed my hair is a lot darker than it used to be i'm just like so over the blonde like if i could go back in time and slap past me just right in the face forever thinking that I could go blonde and enjoy it. Um, I definitely would. I did record the whole process of going dark, so there should be a new video on that out within the next couple weeks. But that is enough rambling on my part, and let's get into today's video. I realized that summer is coming, and I only have like three more weeks in these atrocious dorms, thank God, before I move home for the summer and then into an apartment for the school year. But I realized that then it is my last chance to share with you guys some of my college closet things. So today I'm going to be doing a little clo closet, a little college closet tour of this tiny, tiny little wardrobe that I use to store all of my clothing. So hopefully it will be helpful for you guys and I'll be able to share some of my tips and tricks for storing a lot of clothing in a really small space. So let's open this baby up and start with the main section. Sadly, pretty much everything that I own is hanging here. My first tip if you're moving away to college soon or you're living in a smaller space is to get these velvet hangers. Um, I used to use the really cheap plastic ones from Target that are just like white and plastic and pretty much everybody uses them, but it's totally worth investing in these. Pro tip, do not buy these velvety ones at Target. They are so overpriced there. Um, I got these on Amazon and I think it was like $30 for a pack of 50, which is pretty good because that's pretty much all the hangers I own. But yeah, I never really like believed in these. I was like, oh, they, they can't be that much better. They can't save that much space. But let me tell you, I can probably fit like three times as much clothing in this wardrobe because of these hangers so uh, definitely would highly recommend. So let me walk you through kind of the main sections of the hanging part of my closet and how I organize it. Um, on this side I have all of, I'm probably out of the frame here, um, in this side I have all of my clothing that I've worn like for kind of half a day or like I wore but I didn't get that sweaty in. <laughs> Don't judge me too much here but when you're in college and you have to pay like three dollars to do your laundry. I'm trying to not do it that often. And a lot of the times if you wear your clothes for like a couple hours, it's like they're not dirty, they don't need to be washed, and it's like good for the environment or something. So I like to keep my hanging up over here just so that they're separated, but they're not in my laundry bin and they're not just like crumpled up in a corner. And I know that I can reach for them and wear them again. I'm also just like a serial outfit repeater. Like if I like a shirt, and I'm really liking it, especially in college because I don't see the same people every day. I'll just wear it for like three times in one week. Um, please keep that secret for me. It's kind of bad. And then from here to here, this big chunk in the middle is all of my shirts. I like to keep them in color order just because I feel like when I'm putting together my outfits, it's more important to me that the color goes with the outfit rather than like the sleeve length is fitting for the weather, which probably says a lot about me. Um, I have a small section for my jackets. I don't own that many jackets right now. And then on this end of the closet, I have my one pieces, so all of my dresses and rompers. No matter where my closet is, like I also do this at home, I'll keep all of my dresses on one side of my closet and not in the middle, um, just because I have some longer dresses and they'll dangle down. And I don't want them to create kind of like a blockage in the middle of my closet, if that makes sense. So here I put my longest dresses along the side and then I kind of tried to color coordinate everything else. I don't really have a lot of dresses, so I kind of just put them in one whatever order they go, and a lot of them are printed, so it's kind of hard, but I tried. On some of these as well, because I ran out of hangers and because I was really trying to save space in my wardrobe, I've double hung some of my dresses, especially spaghetti strap dresses. Like, it's really easy to fit two on a hanger, and that can help save, like, a little bit more space. And now we have journeyed all the way over to this side of my wardrobe, where I have this little organizer thingy. Starting at the very top, I have the only two sweaters that I own, because again, I live in LA. And these were just really bulky to hang up, and I didn't want to like stretch out the knit in the shoulders of this sweater by hanging them up. So I think it's better to have them folded, um, plus they take up a little less space. Next, because it's spring, I have all of my skirts and shorts out. In the winter, I'll flip this with my jeans and have my jeans higher up so they're more accessible. There's not a whole lot of order to this, pretty much. I just fold up all of my skirts and shorts and shove them in there in some type of order. Same thing for my jeans, I just keep them folded in a stack. I only own like five or so jeans and a pair of overalls, so they fit in there nicely, not too much organization needed. The next one down I keep my sweatshirts and sweatpants 
folded up. Again, so they don't take up too much room hanging in my closet. And then I have all of my shirts that I never really wear, but I can't bring myself to throw out because like, I might someday be in a situation where I need this specific t-shirt. I think we all have that pile in our wardrobe and I just keep mine down here. And then at the very bottom, I have all of my tights, which honestly, I don't really wear in LA very much. Hence them being at the very bottom of my wardrobe in a sad little pile. And then down here at the bottom of my closet, uh, clearly the most attractive part, I have a couple pairs of boots over here that don't fit in my shoe drawer. Sorry, my finger is super out of focus, by the way. And over here, let's be real, I have my laundry bag, which is just kind of a lumpy sack of clothes. It's not that cute, but you know what? It does its job. Oh, and then here at the side of my closet door, I just have a little rack set up for all of my belts. Um, these are little adhesive hooks that are supposed to be used for like your bathroom or something. Um, but I just put a bunch of them up and I keep my belts here. And because no space can be wasted when you have two roommates and literally live in a 10 by 10 box, um, I have a little bit of storage up here as well. So on this side, I just have some caps that I literally never wear, but I'm trying to get into. I have this little organizer thingy that I got from the container store and I just threw all of my jewelry in it. As you guys know, I don't own that much jewelry and I'm not very good at wearing it. But you know, I have like a few necklaces and chokers and stuff like that and a hairband um, just in case I ever actually remember to wear it. Also thrown up here, I have a few scarves just because I don't really have anywhere to hang them. And I actually don't like hanging up scarves as storage because I feel like they get like crinkled and they feel kind of flat when you wear them. But if you store them folded, I feel like they drape a little bit nicer and they're more like fluffy and voluminous if a scarf can be that. Why hello there. This is where I keep most of my shoes. Um, this is just a drawer that is under my roommate's bed. I mean, honestly, there's not even much room to organize in there. I just kind of try to Tetris all of my shoes into the most um, efficient position possible. I don't have like a super specific system when it comes to this stuff. It's pretty much just my fancier shoes and my boots that I wear less often are in the back. And then my everyday shoes and sneakers will be in the front section. And again, these are all kind of my flatter shoes and low heels. All of my big chunky shoes and wedges and stuff I'll keep at the bottom of my closet and I'm pointing over there because that's where my closet is but I realize you guys can't tell in this video. Alright that's everything I have for you guys today. I hope you enjoyed and if you did please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, leave a comment down below, and subscribe to my channel for new videos every week. I'll see you guys soon and good luck to all of you who are moving to college soon. Bye! <laughs>